Welcome everyone to the 2022 report about the state of startups with industry analysts. We call it the SIA report. The report is based on 500 responses from startups, their ecosystem and from analysts themselves. This video is just a quick introduction and you can get the complete information as a recording of our results deep dive in the notes of this short video. Now, whether you're a startup in B2B technology, a VC firm, an accelerator, or an analyst relations professional, we believe our findings might become one of the most impactful bits of research this year. My name is Chris Holscher. I'm a specialist for analyst relations for startups. I'm based out of Hamburg, Germany, and I've initiated this research with the University of Edinburgh Business School. And with me is Robin Schaefer, also an analyst relations specialist, but over in the United States. Robin's conceptualized and conducted the research with me. Now to explain why we believe all this data and our findings are so important, Robin, can you please give a high level perspective of how influential industry analysts are in the B2B tech space? Absolutely. So there are two interesting finds about AR that make it a best hidden secret for startups. So first, Analysts are involved deeply in the B2B buying journey. In the role as customer advisors, they recommend, vet, and can advocate for a vendor. According to various research studies of buyers, analysts are consistently related, rated among the top influencing factors. This makes them extremely impactful to vendors' go-to-market motions. Indeed. Now, let's look, look um, onto the, the startup context. We all know that roughly half of startups do not survive the first four years. Now, the University of Edinburgh has examined this one level deeper in the B2B tech space. And they found that startups who got highlighted by one of the leading analyst houses, Gartner, in one of their dozens of Gartner Cool Vendor reports, had a much higher success propensity. In fact, not 50, but 80% continued after not four, but five years, and many got lucrative acquisition deals. So what an enormous impact. Yet when I look at startup conferences, industry analyst relations is hardly ever on the agenda. And clearly with that level of success impact, it absolutely should. So that's why we decided to explore the matter more broadly and in more depth with the State of Startups and Industry Analysts report. Because clearly startups want data and rightfully so. Okay, a quick run through um, of the concept. The CA report um, brings together all three perspectives. So we can compare views from startups versus those from VCs and accelerators versus industry analysts. We also included startups at different maturity levels regarding analyst relations, as well as startups who never heard of the matter at all. So that means we get a really useful perspective over maturity life cycle. Now, the three questionnaires themselves covered lots of angles, from motivations to value received, from current focus to room for improvement, from tools to results, from organization forms to investment levels, and of course, their future plans. So real breadth and depth of insights for you. Oh, absolutely. We got so many comments, questions, um, feedback in the verbatims, and it shows, uh, first of all, it gave us a lot of insight above numbers, and it showed a lot of passion for the subject. Yeah, indeed. So let's go through the findings, which I'm sure you're all eager to hear. So I'm gonna start, and, and together, Chris and I will go through them all. So the first one, the more mature a startup is with industry analysts, the more knowledgeable, independent, and trustworthy they see them. There is a direct correlation in this. Inexperienced startups tend to perceive these factors low, but as startups mature with AR, that perception grows remarkably positive. Very interesting. Second, the strongest motivation for industry analysts to work with startups and the premier value that startups can get is insights driven. This refers to the feedback, guidance, and recommendations analysts can give to vendors because they're at a unique crossroads. They study a technology market closely. They talk to buyers and they talk to your competitors regularly. And it gives them a powerful point of view that can guide your strategy, product market fit, messages, competitive positioning, partnerships, everything. 
An analyst can be your ally, and this should guide a startup's approach to the topic. Now, that's absolutely key to understand this in detail. But we're not stopping there. Of course, we looked at what's the best value that startups can get from industry analysts. And that's one, drastically shortened time to product market fit. And two, it is much earlier qualified visibility with your target audience. The number four on this um, slide is we explain also how so far only a fraction of startups have seized these benefits. And more specifically, we show data that tells us how much earlier that is possible. And we do explain why that is and how to go about it. Yes, true, true, true. And then uh, the fifth thing is that the top improvements that analysts want with startups is less marketing speak and better briefings. They turn off to any phrase like leading, unique, or if they hear your positioning in the words of your slogans, you lose credibility with them when you make claims that you don't substantiate. So that brings us to the next point, number six, for briefings. We ask the analysts what they want to hear in an intro briefing. While the top request is understand products and technology, it's clear that they want much more. In the intro, they want to understand your business, your strategy, go to market plans, positioning, they need to see the whole business to judge your merit. And these points lead directly into a key finding that sounds maybe a little bit dry, but really can make the difference between a flywheel and an uphill battle for you. I'm talking about number seven and number eight here um, on the slide, um, how startups do and really should organize their work with industry analysts. So the data shows it's a strategic function that should not be limited to marketing value but primarily focus on product market fit and business design. And therefore, it is most effectively managed by analyst relations experts. And if you cannot get one or cannot afford one, then make sure to get external support. But no matter who you choose, just make sure that they practice analyst relations from an insights-driven, product market fit centered, business design, value generation perspective, as we outlined before, it's fundamentally important. Now, number nine on this page is, um, we're getting to the end here, of course, we also looked at the financials. And one of the best findings, in my view, is that startups are using the full spectrum here. And that's literally from zero or minimal spend to just explore getting on the radar with industry analysts to, um, once they see the value, to run a phased approach or design a lean and agile program that's tailored to their specific ambitions and optimized for return on investment. And generally, we found that just like startups, trust and appreciation of analysts correlates with their maturity, also the investment goes up as they seize that return on investment. Robin, anything to add here? Yeah, the last one. Um, this We were pleased to see that the majority of the startups and the VCs um, recognize there's value in this approach to work with analysts and expect to march forward and intensify um, efforts. So large vendors are investing, we see more and more, and they're hiring bigger and bigger teams and giving them a further leg up on startups that aren't on this playing field. And it doesn't take much to get on the playing field. So calls to action. Um, thanks, Robin. Yes. And as I said, we got a ton more information for you that you can get through um, the results recording and you can, of course, reach out and talk to us as well. So generally, we see four calls to action. First, if you're an analyst listening, startups want more tailored offerings. And both Robin and I are working with some analyst houses to make that happen. So number two, as a VC or as an accelerator, absolutely help us to educate the market or at least your portfolio, be it through your own expertise of the matter or through venture partners in analyst relations. And three, as analyst relations specialists, we think that um, you should appreciate that startups are in a very different position than your average established vendor. So please appreciate where they are, what they need and how they need it. That's critically important for their success. And then last but not least, if you're a startup, of course, we did this for you. Um, if you want to conquer a B2B tech market, then we believe you need to know the complete playing field and you should know how to play it. 
And that is with all the help that you can get. And you need that help early. So please, at the very least, learn about what analyst relations means in your market. And the CR report recording is a very good place to start that. Robin? Yeah, so just wrapping up what you do specifically. So every business is, is different and the value of AR varies widely. You have to evaluate this in the context of your space, your goals, your challenges. You can reach out to myself or Chris uh, to understand how this applies to your situation. We're happy to chat. Uh, I cover North America and Chris is in Europe and rest of the world. And as Chris said, there's much more to understand. The findings recording goes into all the data behind the points we covered and explains their significance. It is eye-opening and we encourage you to listen. And that concludes our intro session and we are appreciating everybody listening and thank you and have a great day. Yes, indeed. Thanks everyone for listening and, and talk soon. Bye.